Some people do place the sensor from the frame up to here and they put the magnet on the pedal. However, the Shimano step system will sense that the wheel goes always at the same speed as the pedal and it will actually detect that you act the system and you will get an error code. So this modification here will bypass that. So it will be similar to all the electronics box that you can buy on the internet for about $200, except it's going to cost you a few pennies. So let me show you how to do it. The parts shown in that video have been 3D printed on a MakerBot and have been designed on the computer to make sure that the pulley will line up with the hub and also that the axis of rotation will be parallel to the one of the wheel and this angle here with the frame has been measured to ensure that and also we need to make sure that the uh, the magnet will come just next to the sensor without touching it Here are all the parts you need to modify your e-bike. So the first thing you need is a pulley on which the diameter is going to be twice the diameter of your hub. That's a bearing from uh, a skateboard that is just press fit into the pulley. That's a, a little magnet that's also simply press fit into this little arm here and then this is what's gonna hold this so I'm gonna put this on top here with this screw and a washer to hold it down like so And this holder will fit on the frame of the bike. So this will spin like this. And that clamp will go like this. And then we're gonna fit this on the bike just about here. So let me do that. I'll come back later. Okay, so our end goes. I'm gonna fit that just about here. Put the clamp on it with those four screws. And before you tighten this all the way down you want to make sure that when this rotates the magnet will be aligned with the sensor so in my case I need to move it forward so I think the magnet let me sorry about that so the center of the magnet has to be on the edge just about here so let me point that out so about lined up here with the junction between the cylinder and the stem here so the center of the magnet has to be about there so once you get that you can then double check that the magnet is properly placed so for example you can just Spin that like this and double check that the speed here will show something. So if I give it a spin, 
right? Now we know that it works properly. So the next step is, I've already done that on mine, but you need to move the original magnet, which is this one, out of the way. So it used to be here on the green mark. So I moved that away, but I, I leave it there in case uh, something goes wrong, I can just put that back in place. And then the last step is you need to put the rubber band on the hub. All right, so you need to take the wheel off to do that. All right, so the rubber band sits here. And then you need to hook up that rubber band on the pulley that we just installed. All right, so having done that, the result will be that if I spin the wheel, you'll see that this pulley spins at about half the speed of the wheel. All right. So if you just look at the reflector in the wheel, you will see that it passes twice the sensor while the magnet passes only once. So we're doing that. The result will be that the computer will uh, indicate half the speed that you're doing. So you will double your speed limit by doing that. Enjoy.